Welcome back from my final daily report market analysis video with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech on Friday, the 4th of September, looking at gold, where the gold chart has been corrective in the last few sessions, pulling back from this 1991 reaction high that we saw um, back on Tuesday, a uh, couple of negative candles, but interestingly enough, again, finding support around this uptrend of the past 12 weeks. This uptrend coming in around 1931, 1932 today, and the market is finding support around that. It sort of intraday breached the uptrend very slightly yesterday, but, but held it into the close. And again, interestingly enough, this 23.6% fib line of the big bull run from uh, 1451 to nine, uh, 2072 uh, comes in at 1925, 26 area. And again, that hasn't been broken on a closing basis. That continues to be the case over the past few weeks. Clearly a, a line that the market is looking out for. And um, essentially, if you sort of take a step back, you could argue that the market is... is, is um, Sort of trading in a bit of a range really now. Um, I'll put the crosshair at uh, 1902 to take account of that reaction though a couple of weeks ago. But then market sort of seems to be a bit ranging, doesn't it, between there. Um, but holding on to this uptrend is important for that range, as is the support of the FIB line at 20, uh, 1926. So just beginning to tick higher a little bit today, just stabilising, but allowing these momentum indicators to improve once more. And seemingly the corrective momentum is starting to sort of ease slightly. You'd want to see these reaction highs broken. You'd 1945, yesterday's high, you've got nine um, intraday high, 1950 area, 1955 being, I think the key near term level, 1955, that old breakout became supportive on the way down key pivot line. So if you see the market moving decisively above 1955, I think that's a, an important signal to suggest that the bulls are back on track. Again, that would take you through all these moving averages as well. So starting to stabilise a bit, that stabilisation comes ahead of payrolls report. And I think you're likely to see volatility around this report again today. So how gold comes out of that, does it continue to close above 1926? If it does, I think that's generally taken to be fairly positive because I think a, well, a closing breach of 1902, for example, would be a very negative, I think, near term move opening the 1863 mark at least mid 1800s. Um, but uh, the, for now, I think the market is just consolidating in front of this payrolls number. So above 1955 really does open the upside once more within the within the trading band. Then you can start to think about further levels higher and you've got crosshair comes in at 17, uh, sorry, 7, 1973 today and obviously 1992, the, that, that reaction high from earlier this week. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.